<laughs> the girl in the mirror. I was about the age of 13 when this story took place. I lived in an old house just on the outside of a large city and was surrounded by cornfields and forests. I had lived there all my life before this happened. It was a dreary summer night, which, which is mostly normal for the place I live. But on this particular night, something just fell off. I had come home from soccer practice around 6 p.m. and my parents always had me in bed by 8. The night went on as usual. I ate dinner, played with my little sister, and did some weightlifting before bed. I got into bed around 7.45. This story will make better sense if I tell you some things about me. I'm a restless sleeper. I toss and turn and get up periodically through the night. And I've always had a fascination with the afterlife. Okay, back to the story. I'm not sure exactly what time I fell asleep, but I didn't really have my usual episodes through the night. And this was the first night I slept peacefully in years. I was suddenly awoken by a strange noise coming from the bathroom in my bedroom. Since I had to use the bathroom anyways, I decided to go check it out. I thought it might be a mouse or a bat since we live in the country and the house is old and has holes in the older walls. I went in the bathroom. I didn't see anything. So I did my business, washed my hands and face. And when I was washing my face, I looked up at the large mirror that overhangs my sink. Since there was still water in my eyes, my vision is blurry and I couldn't really see much. But I thought I saw something behind me. But then I thought it was just my mind playing tricks on me. I dried my face off and looked up at the mirror again. Right behind me, there was a little girl, clutching my body almost as if she was hiding from something. Her ghostly outline scared me at first, but as I kept looking, I could tell that whatever was scaring her was coming from the basement. So I walked to the basement door and I opened it slightly. I opened it slightly at first because I was very scared of what might be behind it. This being said, I've lived in this house my entire life and have never been in the basement. My dad mentioned to me that it had three separate parts, all separated by small windows that you could barely fit through. So I walked down the basement stairs and got down to the bottom where the light switch was. I turned it on and all seemed like it was okay. That's until I heard what sounded like crying from one of the other parts of the basement. In my mind, I was thinking, fuck this shit. But in my heart, I knew I had to see what it was. So I ventured through the part of the basement and the light couldn't reach the other side where the other room was. It was pitch black. I still heard the crying, but since it was so dark, I couldn't see anything. Something gave me the urge to go to the far corner of the room because the way the moonlight reflected off of the floor, you could kind of see with the little light that you had. I walked over to the corner and stared directly in the middle of the room. There in the middle of the room was a chair. It had shackles for the feet and what looked like to be some type of restraint for arms or something like that. That's when I noticed that there was someone sitting in that chair. I walked closer only to reveal that it was the same little girl that had been crying previously in the bathroom. She had needles stuck into her arms, draining some type of fluid into her. All was quiet till she started screaming. It was so high-pitched, I thought it sounded like a siren or something of that nature. She was saying the words, but I couldn't make out anything she was saying until she spoke five menacing words that made my heart sink. Get out. Daddy is coming. Not even thinking twice, I sprinted up the basement stairs, tripping over my own feet and fell flat on my face. I got back up and ran to my parents' room. I told them what happened. They went down there and checked everything out. I told them about the chair and the little girl that was screaming. They told me there was no chair in the basement and that there had never been three parts of the basement. Me, not believing them, I walked back down there. And the room I saw the chair in was not there. There had only ever been two parts of the basement, my dad said. I told him what I saw and how I knew there had to be some mistake. But I never did see that part of the basement again. I'm 18 now, and I decided to do some research on the house to see if there's any history that could have caused that. 
I came across an article of a man who had been arrested in 1868 for doing lab experiments on all of his children. After the man was arrested, the police found all 12 skeletons of his children stuffed behind the basement stairs, under debris and concrete. Now that I finally have moved out of that house, and that I finally have an answer as to what I saw that night, I am finally at peace. But those five words still hang over me to this day. Get out. Daddy is coming.